Welcome Scorpions. I want to say thank you for being back. Thank you for um, this wonderful, um, wonderful, wonderful um, um, return. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go in your reading. So what we're seeing here, this is the Taurus season. The Taurus season begin from April 20th till May 20th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. All right. I see a lot of you, um, men 50 years and older, is going to be recognizing that you were stabbed in the back. So men 50 years and older, you're going to be recognizing that you were stabbed in the back. I see the energy of Jupiter is returning some sort of opportunities and returning emotional balance for a lot of you, Scorpions. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember, um, the energy that is here has to do with something in the past. Whether you men are, they're going to be recognizing something in the past. Men 50 years and older, they're going to be recognizing something in the past that you have done. All right, for the rest of you Scorpions, I see karmatic issues that you have to resolve and I see some sort of an emotional situation that will be balanced out. So this is going to be good. I want to say to you guys, remember to use the link below this video in order to choose your crystal. It is about choosing your crystal that is going to be manifesting in this uh, Taurus season. The Taurus season has to do with the second house, your materialist materialist stability and a lot of you scorpions have to work on this issue especially men businessmen they were to be recognizing um that there was some sort of a disturbance so what we're seeing in the first week is that a lot of you um men could be having some sort of an issue the second week um there is a situation that the ten of swords energy and the ten of swords energy has to do with sun in gemini I see um, they're going to be recognizing something about a Gemini um, that, you know, you could have been stabbed in the back by a Gemini. Then we are looking at the third week, the Wheel of Fortune. The energy of the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter. It is about luck. So your most luckiest week is going to be the third week and the fourth week. So Scorpion, be aware of that. In the fifth week, we have the energy of the Seven of Cups. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, whenever it comes up to seven, and especially the seven of cups, is Venus in Scorpion. So, a lot of happy endings for the Taurus season for you, Scorpion. And you, Scorpion, Taurus is, is your opposite sign, okay? So, you got to recognize this. So, remember, Scorpion, Taurus is, is your opposite sign. If you're looking for a relationship, a friendship, a marriage, Taurus is, is the one. Now, um, uh, you can recognize this from um, what they are giving you. The two last week, they are giving you back some luck. So you scorpions that were dealing with some sort of an issue, um, your opposite sign, the uh, Taurus is, that you are vibrating in the Taurus season is going to be helping you and bringing you some sort of a luck. You see the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Cups in the upright. Well, 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 let's get in the reading. So we're dealing with a fire and water person. Now, this could be you guys, um, men 50 years and older. Let's see what is coming out. A lot of you men are having issues with your marriage. Okay, a lot of you men 50 years and older are having issues with your marriage and issues with your business, with your business and with your marriage. So um, men are having issues with your wife, your marriage, your your partner and the house and business. So some of you men could be working out of house and this is getting to you because you can't focus because the kids, the wife, everyone is there and you can't focus. But it can be in a positive sense because there's no negative energy around this. You're just dealing with your wife or your child's mother and you both could be in business or at home. Um, it could be very, very positive for a lot of you men. Some of you men could be reconnecting reconnect with your mom 
um, in the week of April 20th till April 26th. So, so a lot of you men could be reaching out and could be going back home or reconnecting with your mom. It has something to do with your mom or your family, your parents, uh, reaching out to them and trying to resolve some sort of a situation. April 20th, between April 20th and April 26th. So this is really positive for a lot of you. Really, really positive. Um, a lot of you, yeah, it is, it is, it is about reaching out to your parents, reaching out to your mom in order to resolve some sort of a situation. And for the rest, it is men and their wives, um, married men or long-term relationship where after 10 years, this person is seen to be your partner, okay? So if you live with someone for 10 years, after 10 years, they're seen to be your partner. There is some so, so sort of a situation. Some of you could be moving in a new house or relocating and is in a new house that is bringing happiness and joy for you and your family. So that is beautiful. All right. So let's look at the energy of the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is the sun in Gemini. And the energy with the sun in Gemini, what is happening and transpiring with the sun in Gemini is that some of you could be stabbed in the back by a Gemini or some of you, a situation, communication, information from a Gemini. Okay, so um, here you go. You are now recognizing a Gemini woman could have been your greatest enemy. Okay, so a lot of you are going to be recognizing that a Gemini woman could have been your greatest enemy. Whoever this Gemini woman is uh, could work in your business or could work in some sort. A Gemini woman is corrupt. So a lot of you Scorpion men is going to be recognizing that you're dealing with a very corrupt Gemini woman. Whoever this Gemini woman is, you're going to be recognizing that this Gemini woman had given out information uh, or communicate some sort of an information about your corporation or institution. So it is um, that because this is the energy of a woman enemy. Okay. Um uh Nicole, uh man or woman enemy this is the energy of a man or woman energy and if you recognize you gotta be careful of uh, um this person now some of you are going to be recognizing that the leo is your greatest enemy whoever this leo is uh, um this leo had given out and communicate something about you and you are going to be recognizing and finding out. So, you know, communication that came out and this uh, is at the, uh, it doesn't have to be at the workplace, but um, what they're going to be recognized is that a Leo woman, whoever this Leo woman is, is your greatest enemy. A lot of you is uh, um, a Gemini. A lot of you is a Leo woman is your greatest enemy and you're going to be finding this out very soon because people are going to be advising you and letting you know keep clear of a leo woman and a gemini woman because they're going to be recognizing that a leo woman had um spoken badly about you a leo or a gemini person but you see scorpion it is a situation that uh, let it go let it go, let it go, because this person is falling on their faces, okay? This person is falling on their faces, and you might see this in this Taurus season, or you're going to be seeing this later on in the year, that whoever this Leo person is, they recognize that this Leo woman had lie. A lot of you, Scorpion, is going to be recognizing that the Leo woman has spoken very badly about you and has created a whole lot of enemies for you. And I see that they're going to be recognizing that this is because of a jealousy, jealousy. So some sort of a lies and deceptiveness that they recognize that the Leo woman had lied. Whoever this Leo woman is, they recognize that this Leo man or woman had lied and a huge corporation is now recognizing and is seeing data and information that this Leo person had lied. 
All right, the third week. The third week has to do with the energy of uh, um, May 4th until May 10th, the Wheel of Fortune. A lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a news. And this news, we are going to be looking at what this news is all about, that a new contract is going to be coming in for you, Scorpion, because they recognize the lies and deceptiveness of a Leo woman and that a Leo woman has been your greatest, greatest enemy. So congratulations, Scorpions. I do so love you guys. I really love you, Scorpions, because you Scorpions or you know, you don't take BS. And, you know, once you recognize that someone is BSing and is creating a lot of chaos, you, a Scorpion, um, you know, stand your ground and like, no, this is not going to be happening. You Scorpions really stand your ground and let people know that, hey, uh, and no, this is not going to be happening. Whatever you're thinking or um, however you think that a situation is going, uh, no, it's not going to be happening. And you, Scorpion, really stood your ground and is going to be receiving some sort of a new contract because they have recognized that a Leo woman have created a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness and a Leo woman was the one who stabbed you, Scorpions, in your back, okay? So I see you got to stay clear of a Leo woman in a corporation institution, whoever this Leo woman is. Um, give them three months Three months to six months, they're going to be falling, falling like very hard, like uh, no end to um, uh, the no end to the depths of uh, where they're going to be falling to. So whoever this Leo woman is, they're recognizing and you Scorpion is going to be recognizing that an, a Leo person is your greatest enemy and a Leo person had stabbed you in the back. And now I see a new contract is going to be coming out for you, Scorpion. And you're going to be receiving message in the week of May 4 till May 10 that some sort of a new contract is going to be coming in. And this is going to be good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the fourth and last week. The fourth and last week, um, emotional stability, because it's as if the judge is going to be coming back and is looking at so that there was a huge theft that was created. Is as if the judge is going to be recognizing and seeing that a huge theft was created. And this is going to be happening in the week of uh, the week of uh, um April of May um eleventh until May twentieth. May eleventh until May twentieth. Um, the judge is going to be recognizing um, that um, you scorpions, and this is what I'm saying, um, Tauruses are going to be helping you scorpions out of a situation. And um, the judge is going to be recognizing that a huge um, corruption was there. And somehow you scorpion got connected in this corruption. And I see this judge is looking through a whole lot of information and recognizing that you scorpions was worked against. So I see the some of you is going to be winning young people. You're going to be winning because they're going to be recognizing that I, and a judge is going to be giving you young people a new sword because they're going to be recognizing that you young people um, was target and work against. So young people, people between the ages of 19 and uh, 49, you are going to be safe. Older scorpion people, you have a problem because they're going to be recognizing that you older scorpion people had known the truth and has not done anything about it. I have no idea what this is all about. And this is about people in our authority looking at you, all the scorpion, and it's uh, recognizing you, all the scorpion, known the truth and should have done better. And I see that that's how they are going to be um, judging you guys. And they're going to be recognizing that you, scorpion, all the people should have done the right thing. So a lot of you, scorpion, all the people are having um, some sort of a problem. And... Uh, the you know you have the energy of uh, the um the, you know love venus in scorpion venus in scorpion 
And if you're getting divorced, they're going to be recognizing that a lot of you, Scorpion, was cheating. So if you are someone um, 50 years and older and you're getting divorced, the judge is going to be recognizing that through the marriage, you have had multiple relationship. Through the marriage, you have had multiple relationship. Um, so the judge is going to be looking at that. So that is going to be affecting people 50 years and older. Um, then we Scorpion, um, see, um, some sort of, uh, legal issues, definitely. So it could be a divorce or it could be some sort of a legal issue. Some sort of a divorce, some sort of a legal issue that has been happening and transpiring. And they're going to be recognizing that a huge theft was created. And you older people should have pull on the bell when you recognize what was going on. And it's as if the judge is going to be saying to you older people, you know, you were aware of uh, the situation that was going on. Why didn't you um, stop the situation before it gets so far? far? So I see a lot of you Scorpions are going to be caught up in some sort of a legal issue where the judge is going to be saying, hey, yeah, you know, good, um, there is um, good and bad, but you older Scorpions was aware of what was transpiring. And you should have stopped in and pull on the bell before it went so far. So you got to recognize and understand that uh, no matter what is going on and transpiring, Scorpions, is as if you have to take responsibility for what has been transpiring. And especially you older Scorpions are going to be the one that need to take responsibility of the situation that was transpiring because you're going to be now recognizing and seeing what was created and how a lot of you um let a situation just you know went a wise by not pulling on the bell in time and i see that this is where they are going to be saying scorpion you were aware of what was going on. You should have clip it and clip it in the butt, okay? So all the people, um, I see that that is going to be a situation. And I see whoever is divorcing, they're going to be recognizing that, that uh, whoever is divorcing, that some of you had had uh, multiple affairs through um, the timeline of your marriage. And that is going to be affecting uh, your um divorce procedures is that they're going to be recognizing that multiple people had uh, some sort of a problem with marriage okay some sort of a problem um with their marriage and um you know they're going to be recognizing that a lot of you um were um stressed out stressed out especially young people they're going to be recognizing that some of you young people have been stressed out really stressed out with a um, situation that was going on beyond your control. And they're going to be recognizing how very stressed out a lot of you were. And it's going to be trying to resolve a situation because they're recognizing um, that some of you are very stressed out and it's going to be um, clearing up a situation so that some of you can have in a piece and that is going to be very good wow what a reading what a reading ladies and gentlemen this is absolutely absolutely fabulous so scorpions this taurus season especially in the two last week is going to be bringing you um really really some really positive energy taurus is your opposite sign if you're looking for a relationship if you are looking for a marriage partner taurus is is the one for you um, I'm going to be going and doing um, a deep reading of how people can find their soulmate and twin flame. Um, a lot of people seems to, and a lot of you, Scorpion, seems to connect with the Librans, which, uh, no, uh, Librans are not your opposite side. A lot of you connect with your Librans, but it's as if you and the Librans are doing some sort of a karma a clearing, but you can never ever find a soulmate or a twin flame by a Libran. It is not um 
uh, your connection. And I think that you only connect with a Libran because most Librans have Scorpions in their birth chart. But to be honest, it has nothing to do with you people, okay? So I do love you guys. I gotta go. Uh, show your love by thumbs up. Use the link below to choose your crystal. I'm wishing you a really positive Taurus season. Namaste until next time.